Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking the state of JavaScript survey together. I've never taken this survey before, so let's take it together, see what are some new things in JavaScript that we are unaware of, and check out some of the top things that have been popular in JavaScript in the last year. I really like taking surveys like this because not only does it help me get my opinion counter, but also it helps me stay up to date with JavaScript. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shruti Kapoor, and I make JavaScript and React tutorials. So let's get started and see what's been new and popular in JavaScript. I've not taken the survey before, so let's get started. We're gonna continue as guest. Okay, which of these syntax features have you used? Dynamic import, used it. This is nice that it actually shows you what the thing is about. So it actually shows you like an example of what dynamic import means, which is really cool. Nalish Kohl is saying, I've been using this a lot, actually. This is really helpful because if you have something undefined, like a variable that could be undefined, this is a great way of giving like a default value to it. Private properties. Private property is actually really cool because I don't think you use it as much in your React components or regular web app, unless if you're specifically designing for components that can be used by other folks or libraries that can be used by other folks. So. This is a really good one. Logical assignment. This is something that I have not used before. Oh, also we can add something to our reading list. So check this out, error.cause. I have actually never heard of this before, so I'm gonna add it to my reading list. And it goes here, nice. Hashbang grammar. This is really nice because you can actually provide which interpreter, JavaScript interpreter you want to use. I have not used this in the last year, but this is good to know that it's popular. Which of these string features have you used? Replace all, yes. Match all. Match all is actually really cool because uh, it gives you back everything that matches a regex. Match indices. S store the start and end positions of each matched capture group. I have not used this. So let's see what this looks like. Um, you have console.log regex one dot exec string one. Okay. And indices zero. So you give it an indice of where to, oh, okay. You give it an index of where to start and an index of where to end. So that's nice. I guess it kind of checks within a subset. Oh wait, no. Store the start and, and end positions of each matched capture group. Oh, interesting. Um, so you can look for foo. And so it's finding foo at the first position and the last position. This is really cool, actually. This would be really helpful in interviews, especially loot code interviews. So I'm gonna add that to my reading list. Of course, which of these array features have you used? Find last, have used that, do sorted, um, array dot width returns a new array with the element of the given index replaced with the given value. Okay, let's check this out. Which of these browser APIs have you used? WebGL. WebGL is actually a library that can be used to render graphics on the web. It's really handy if you are looking for drawing something or um, even using the canvas element. So this is something that I would recommend reading out for sure. Web animations. I have not used this. So this is going in my reading list. And see, this is a really nice way of like figuring out um, which browser APIs are uh, common and used by folks, but you may not be uh, familiar with it. So I really like taking these surveys. So this is a great way of learning something new that you may not have heard of. Web RTC used web speech API. Let's look that up. Web speech API allows you to incorporate voice data into web apps, has two part speech synthesis and speech recognition. Oh, interesting. Speech recognition is accessed via speech recognition interface, which provides the ability to recognize voice context from an audio input. Huh. It's great. Accessed speech synthesis is accessed by the speech synthesis interface, a text to speech component that allows programs to read out their text content normally by the device default speech synthesizers speech recognition let's take a look at the example speech color changer demo this would be really cool tap click and then say a color to change the background of the color of the app where do i click allow okay aqua aqua <gasps> Ooh. yellow yellow Wow, this is so cool. This is really cool. Okay, learned something new. Gonna add it to my reading list. WebSocket, page visibility API. Let's look this up. What is page? Is it what I think it is? Visibility API. Oh, yes. 
you can you watch for to know when document becomes visible or hidden as well as features to look at the current visibility state of the page this is especially useful for saving resources and improving performance by letting a page avoid performing unnecessary tasks when the document is invisible let's look at some use cases consider a few use cases a site has an image carousel that shouldn't advance to the next slide unless the user is viewing the page so this can be really helpful actually an application showing a dashboard of information doesn't want to poll the server for updates when the page is invisible a site wants to switch off sounds when a device is in standby mode nice this is a nice one to know <clears throat> i'm gonna add it to my reading list broadcast channel api let's look that up allows basic communication between browsing context that is windows tabs frames or iframes and workers in the same origin by creating a broadcast channel you can receive any messages that are posted to it you don't have to maintain a reference to the frames or workers you wish to communicate with they can subscribe to a particular event by constructing their own broadcast channel can send a message receive a message i wonder if this will be helpful for creating like a chat application okay gonna add this to my reading list geolocation api web xr device api temporal gamepad api i haven't used that web authentication api progressive web apps wasm oh <clears throat> main pain points front end frameworks okay react have you never heard of react used it vue.js Angular, React, heard of it? Svelte, use it. Alpine. See, Alpine, I've never heard of it. So I'm gonna add never heard of it, and I've, I'm gonna add it to my reading list. Lit again, add it to my reading list. Solid, used it. Quick, used it. Stencil, heard of it, but I'm gonna add it to my reading list because I've never used it. HTMX, heard of it. Which of these do you use in a professional context? React. How happy are you? I'm pretty happy. Okay, next JS. Never heard of it. Next. Haven't used it though. Gatsby, Remix, Astro, SvelteKit, Docusaurus. Um, Docusaurus I haven't used, so I'm gonna add it to my reading list. So this is such a great way to like compile a reading list, especially if you have especially at this time because you have like a month left in this year. So in the holidays, this is gonna be a reading list. Solid start, actually, solid start. I need to add to my reading list as well. Dino Fresh. Um, I don't know what Dino Fresh, if Dino Fresh is different from Dino. So I'm going to add it to my reading list anyway. Do you use it in a professional context? I use Next.js. I'm happy ish. Okay. Mobile and desktop. Electron. Slack is actually Electron. So Wait, why am I clicking? Never heard of it. Maybe that's something that the uh, survey should uh, improve. Things that you may have used, I feel like, should go at the top. Used it should go at the top. React Native, Native Apps, Cordova. Mm, never used it. So I'm going to add it to my reading list and say heard of it. Ionic, um, again, add it to my reading list, heard of it. Capacitor, never heard of that. NW.js, never heard of that. Expo, Heard of it? Add to my reading list. Quasar, never heard of it. I guess I'm not a very mobile person, am I? Tori, native script, heard of it. Which of these tools do you use in a professional context? Electron, that's it. Happy. Okay, builds tools. Webpack, I don't know what Webpack is. Actually, I've not heard of DSCCLI. SWC, what is SWC? Why does it sound familiar? Rust based platform. Okay, add it to my reading list. ES build, Wheat, Turbo Pack, heard of it. TSAP, never heard of it. Biome, never heard of it. RS Pack, never heard of it. Roll Down, never heard of it. Web Pack, ES build, and Wheat. Happy. I'm a pretty happy person. Okay, which libraries do you use? We use Lodash, underscore, Ramda. I've not heard of Ramda. Add it to my list. jQuery, <laughs> stdlib, Zod, use this. Code.js, Party Town, I'm gonna add it to my list. Mitosis, add it to my list. Moment, Dale.js, Date, FNS, Luxon, add it to my list. Yup, wow, that's a fun library. Libraries dedicated to graphics and animation. Frame of motion, Pixie.js, have not used Pixie.js. Pop motion, not used. Anime.js, 
not used lotti don't know d3 gsat not used react spring theater js motion 1 don't know free js yes backend express nest strapi not used fastify meteor happy or is it happy koa adonis have not used keystone never heard redwood sales directors oh director sizes application add blitz hano not heard of hano alicia js what engines do you regularly use browser node js dino no chakra core no i don't know what chakra core is hermes service workers yes bun yes no edge functions aws netlify google cloud versal that's it which other programming languages do you use php python c++ java what else haskell yes actually no not haskell kotlin no which of these ai tools do you use codium actually don't know what codium is add it to my list code whisper no pin find add it to my list bing no perplexity v0 codium cloud codi chat gpt tab 9 cursor gemini jet brains copilot other admin which of these services have you used to host javascript apps aws cloudflare digital ocean github pages google cloud netlify versa usage Whew. how do you divide your time between javascript and typescript i write mostly javascript typescript what proportion of the javascript code you write for the browser goes through a build step most of it except for my side projects what proportion of the code you produce is ai generated mm, very little In what context do you primarily use JavaScript professionally and as a hobby? What do you use JavaScript for? Front end, back end, machine learning, mobile apps, desktop apps. Actually, I don't build mobile apps. Data visu- visualization, yes, and graphics and animation. Which industry sectors are you using JavaScript in? Consulting, e-commerce, education, and programming. Which of the following architecture and vendor patterns have you used in the last year? SPA, MPA, static site, server site, partial hydration haven't used, progressive hydration? Um, no. Islands architecture haven't used, progressive enhancement? Yes. Incremental static generation? No. Being able to dynamically augment or modify a static site even after the initial build. Wow, that's cool. Streaming SSR? No. Resumability? No. Edge rendering? Yes. Partial pre-rendering? Render a route without a static, with a static loading shell, with keeping while keeping some parts dynamic. Hmm, that's cool. What aspects of JavaScript do you struggle with the most? State management? Yes. Code architecture? Finding packages? Debugging? Yes. Managing dependencies? Async code? Yes. Oh, let's pick performance instead. Which of these active JavaScript proposals are you most excited about? See this is a really great way because now here you have a section where you get to know about the new upcoming features of JavaScript itself which is being worked out in TC39 so let's figure this out let's see what what we want to add to our reading list here temporal decorators functions called in classes or other javascript syntax forms during definition ah oh, let's see define element my class and reactive accessor click equals false i do not know about this forms during definition Let's look this up. Decorators. Decorators provide a way to both uh, to add both annotations and meta programming syntax for class declaration and members. So you could do something like target. Okay, I'm going to add this to my reading list. Explicit resource management. Allocation of a resource and the ability to explicitly release critical resources. That is really fun. Um also add it to my reading list. Source phase import. Customize the loading, linking and execution of modules beyond the standard host execution module. Execution model. Regex escape shadow realm API. A distinct global environment which is its own global object containing its own intrinsics and built-ins. That I'm excited about. Okay. What do you feel is currently missing from JavaScript? Static typing, standard library, oh that would be nice. Pattern matching, pipe operator, um observable type that can be used to model push based data model push based data sources such as dom events timer events and sockets that would be nice that would be nice signals oh signals would be nice oh out of it i guess okay 
how would you like to see native types implemented in javascript hmm. i would like to not see them implemented i think typescript is fine how happy are you with the general state of web technologies i'm happy how happy with the state of javascript happy cool which other material have you used udemy front end masters for size zero to mastery fatsi no egghead west boss oh it's so cool to see west boss as being a category here you don't know js eloquent javascript epic react o'reilly speaking of o'reilly i actually have a course on o'reilly where i teach you how to learn react um if you're looking for a course which has practical examples that helps you kind of build an interview question as you go i would highly recommend check out the course the link is here and it's going to be in the description so check that out and let me know what you think which newsletters do you read to stay up to date with web development i read front javascript weekly front end focus bytes css tricks tldr web design weekly syntax js party change log javascript java pod rocket front end happy hour the css podcast about you okay how old are you hmm 30 i am 3 year 30 years old <laughs> How long have you been working in the industry? For 11 years. How many people are do you work at your organization? More than 1000. Oh, lead member of technical staff. Yearly salary. Yes. In computer science. United States of America. Woman. Help us share the survey with more women. I definitely will. If you're a woman, please go and take the survey. We need to have our opinion counted. South Asian. Look at that. You give 150 points and you're in the top 18% of all respondents. Cool. <laughs> and here is some e-reading list so I wanted to send to my email. So overall, I feel like this is a really great way to get your opinion counted, but also a really good way to learn how some things that you may not be familiar with. but also get a good assessment of how and where you stand in terms of learning and keeping up with the newest technologies. I think when we work in corporate industries it's very hard to like get um really trapped into the stuff that we are building every day and often times we wonder well how do we keep up with new stuff? This is how you keep up with new stuff. So I highly recommend go check out state of js survey. The link is going to be in the description. The survey is open for a few more days so go check it out, fill it out. Let me know what you think and if there was something that shocked you in the survey or something that you had not seen. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.